Right, here's a wee video for Kenny and Pauline that were asking me about my hotspot and how I do it. So here's a wee O2 hotspot, which is also a power brick, which is connected to supply the power to my D, uh, sorry, my Raspberry Pi 3, and that's got my mini connected to it. So because these are so close, this was auto connected to my hotspot, so I'm not on my home Wi-Fi. If I go over and look in my iPad, I've just connected my iPad. It's um, the hotspots under my call sign, so MM6RXJ. So all I've got to do now is go into my VNC viewer. I've already made up some connections. If I wasn't sure what the connection was for it, I would use my network scanner. Again, got to make sure I'm on the appropriate network first. It can't be on my home network. So scan it. There it is. Raspberry Pis came up. Obviously with my code and my IP address. That's all I need <clears throat> for my VNC. So when I make up my VNC, obviously I put that IP address in. Boom, there it is, it's connected. So just now it's sitting on the test. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the test server for the Echo. Just to show you it working. So this is me on 4G currently. I've got my 2D sitting next to me, so that's the 2D saying I'm connected. I'll put out a call. MM6RXJ, this is a test on Echo. MM6RXJ testing the hotspot. One, two, three, back to you. So there you go, so that's it connected. And obviously, if I want to go back to the home network, I go into my settings for the Pi, put it back on the Wi Fi first, then turn the um, iPad back to my Wi Fi, then reconnect, and then the VNC obviously will start working again. On the other option that I've got set up for the Pi for connecting at home. Um, it works really well. I've got a wee FTM 100 in the car um, and when I take this with me, this set up, it just sits um, in a wee, wee tub under my driver's seat and um, that's how I talk when I'm out and about or you know, hotel rooms, whatever you wanted to do, you could do it that way. But you've got to know your IP address and obviously for your VNC to work, it's got to be on the same network that's supplying the hotspot. So whether that is a wee hotspot thing like this, your iPhone, whatever, the VNC to work, you've got to be able to scan the network once the Pi is connected to it first, find your IP address, put it into the settings on VNC, and away you go. And that should be you. That's all you need to do. So if I come out of that just now and I go into that, obviously, there's your IP settings there. You scan the network, find out what your IP is, put it in, create your password, and you're off and running. So hopefully you find that very helpful. Um, the iPhone one, I'm still having trouble with because it can be a bit of a pain in the bum trying to find out this IP address on the iPhone. But I'll get to the bottom of that anyway. But I find this the easiest way to do it because the hotspot also provides the power for the pies. So it's actually a nice wee setup. Cheers for now. Hope this helps.